Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have a very simple question to the Deputy Premier. How much money did the borrowing pool, I meant uh, balancing pool, borrowed from the um, Government of Alberta to cover the losses on the PPAs, and how much will it increase by 2020 when the remaining PPAs will expire? The Honourable Minister of Environment and Parks. Well, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And uh, as the member well knows, uh, uh, that uh, matter was settled, uh, Mr. Speaker, because uh, uh, the position that this government took is that we were not going to uh, uh, privatize profits and socialize risk, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, so we, ma we settled those matters, and uh, uh, we now have capped uh, electricity rates, Mr. Speaker, the fastest growing renewables market uh, in the country, and reducing our greenhouse gas emissions and our pollution. First supplemental. Given, Mr. Speaker, the termination notices for the PPAs were issued in the first quarter of 2016 and could have been terminated by the end of 2016, if not the NDP government suing itself, and given the balancing pool's delays cost Albertans hundreds of millions of dollars that could have been used to pay for 4,000 teachers and 4,000 nurses to the, to the same minister, by interfering in the cancellation of the PPAs, did the NDP run the electricity market in a non-commercial manner? The Honourable Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And uh, we rely on independent agencies like the Balancing Pool and the MSA, the Market Surveillance Administrator, to effectively manage the electricity system within their mandates. Any suggestion of political interference is completely baseless, Mr. Speaker, and decisions regarding the termination of PPAs has always solely been in the hands of the balancing pool and not the government. Supplemental. Mr. Speaker, given the market surveillance administrator, who also reports to the same energy minister, found the balancing pool broke the law in its handling of the PPAs and, and ran generating assets under its control in a non-commercial manner in a two-year period. Did the Minister of Energy or any of our staff or employees of the department instruct the balancing pool to manipulate the electricity market? Was it in a wise mode? The Honourable Minister. Well, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I priority with respect to the electricity system is making sure power bills are affordable unpredictable. We've been fo focused on fixing a broken system that Conservatives left us through a deregulation experiment that put consumers on a roller coaster, Mr. Speaker. Since electricity was deregulated, Albertans were, were, were subjected to vast price hikes, Mr. Speaker. We have capped electricity rates. We've opened up the largest renewables opportunities on the continent, Mr. Speaker, with the lowest cost renewables in Canadian history bid now bidding into our system, Mr. Speaker. And we're reducing pollution from coal and uh, creating jobs and natural gas.